The light side player is using a Jedi deck, and because he was forced to discard earlier, he now has a hand of the following five cards. Luke Skywalker, R2-D2, Target of Opportunity, Dagobah Training Grounds, and Emergency Repair. He also has the following objectives in play. A Hero's Journey, Last Minute Rescue, and Hit and Run. If the balance of the force were on the light side, the light side player would now be able to deal one damage to any dark side objective. Unfortunately, the balance of the force is currently with the dark side, so nothing happens at this time. Because it is first turn, the light side player does not need to clear focus or refresh cards, so play continues to the draw phase. In the draw phase, the light side player may discard one card from his hand and draw back up to his reserve. He decides to discard Emergency Repair. To meet his reserve value of 6, he draws two cards from his command deck, Return of the Jedi and Obi-Wan Kenobi. The light side player places one focus token on his affiliation card to play the Dagobah Training Grounds. This card enhances his play area and can be used to generate one resource. Next, he plays R2-D2, which has a cost of zero. He then places one focus token each on the Dagobah Training Grounds, R2-D2, A Hero's Journey, and Last Minute Rescue to generate four resources and play Luke Skywalker. During the conflict phase, the active player attempts to destroy enemy objectives and may engage one or more of the enemy's current objective cards one at a time. For his first engagement, the light side player attacks the heart of the Empire with Luke Skywalker. In order to be declared as an attacker or defender, a unit must be in play and ready. The dark side player declares both the interrogation droid and the dark side apprentice as defenders. Once attackers and defenders have been declared, the players must now participate in an edge battle. The edge battle represents the combatants maneuvering for position gathering intelligence and engaging in sabotage, infiltration or other endeavors before the physical battle begins. The edge battle is fought by the players alternately bidding with face down cards from their hand. The player with the most force icons in his edge stack wins the edge battle. The light side player is the active player and places his first card creating his edge stack. The dark side player then responds with his own card, and play continues in this fashion until both players pass consecutively. In his edge stack, the light side player reveals six force icons, and the dark side player reveals five. Both Target of Opportunity and Heat of Battle are Fate cards, which is the only card type that has any textual effect when revealed in an edge stack. Each Fate card has a priority number, and effects of these cards are now resolved in order of priority from lowest to highest. Heat of Battle with a priority of 6 reads, Deal 1 damage to a target participating enemy unit. So the dark side player deals 1 damage to Luke Skywalker. Target of Opportunity with a priority of 9 reads, If you are the attacking player, deal 1 damage to the engaged objective. So the light side player places 1 damage on the Heart of the Empire objective card. After all Fate cards have resolved, the players compare the number of Force icons in each of their edge stacks. The light side player with six icons has won the edge battle. This means that he will strike first, and all of his edge-dependent combat icons are active during this engagement. Additionally, the light side player controls the objective card Hit and Run, which reads Reaction. After you win an edge battle as the attacker, deal one damage to the engaged objective. So the reaction triggers and places another damage on the heart of the Empire. With the edge battle now complete, all cards in each player's edge stack are discarded, and play proceeds to resolving strikes. In order to strike, a unit must be both ready and participating in the engagement. The light side chooses to strike with Luke Skywalker. To do this, he places one focus token on Luke and resolves Luke's combat icons. Luke has two unit damage icons, which allows him to deal two damage to any one participating enemy unit. 
The light side player deals two damage to the dark side apprentice, which is equal to its damage capacity, so it's destroyed. Luke also has two blast damage icons. The icon with the white background is edge dependent, and since the light side player won the edge battle, this icon is active. Had he lost the edge battle, this icon would be ignored. Blast damage icons enable the light side player to place two damage on the engaged objective, the heart of the Empire. The dark side player can now strike with his only surviving unit, the interrogation droid. Because the unit is committed to the force, he must place one additional focus token on the droid in order to strike. So the dark side player places two focus tokens on the unit. When it strikes, the interrogation droid resolves its tactics icon. Each tactics icon allows its controller to place a focus token on any enemy unit of his choice, even if that unit is not participating in the engagement. The dark side player chooses to place this token on R2-D2. Once all participating units have been focused, the strike step is complete. Players now check to see if any defenders have survived, and as the interrogation droid has survived, the engagement is considered opposed. The light side player would now be permitted to declare an engagement against another dark side objective, but as both of his units are exhausted, he can declare no further attackers, so his conflict phase is complete. The light side player now has the option to commit any of his units to the Force struggle. He commits Luke Skywalker to the Force. However, only units that are ready and committed count their Force icons during the Force struggle. So the light side player and the dark side player both count zero icons. Both Luke and the interrogation droid are exhausted. When a Force struggle is tied, the balance of the Force does not change. In this case, it remains on the dark side. The light side player's turn is now complete, and the game proceeds to the dark side player's second turn.